Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another West Wing video. We're out on the ice right now. Got my buddy Nick over there. He's slaying them already. He's been out here for, uh, what, a couple hours now? Two or three hours now. He's been slaying the bass and bluegill. So today's a little special video. I actually haven't announced this on my YouTube channel yet, but I am an official sponsor of Mystery Tackle Box. I'm super grateful for this opportunity. Today, we're gonna to be digging into the ice fishing box that I received this month. Now you can actually use my code WESTO at checkout to get your very first box for as little as $5. Now that's a steal. So if you guys wanna go over there, I will link it down in the description below. Use my code, save yourself some money, get some awesome baits. So we're gonna dig into this box. I'm gonna show you guys what's in this box for this month and dig into this, and then we're gonna get to fishing. So. Let's get it. Guys, so digging into the box right here, as you can see, we got a little what's inside card right here showing you the prices of what you would purchase it on the websites. Then we have a little, uh, I already dug into this box already, so I'm kind of a mess with this right now, but we got the Dibble Tips and Tricks. This is nice, it's got a, some little games in there and stuff you can play and some nice tips that'll help you when you're out on the water. Now, the first thing we got here is the Lip Rippers. It looks like a little floating soft plastic. That looks pretty saucy right there. Then we have uh, some moon jigs. Nice little jigs right there. Then we have a Vexen Crystal Reaper. It's kind of like a jig and wrap right there. It's got a sweet hook on there. Looks like it glows. So uh, this is gonna be great for bass, walleye, all sorts of bigger species like that. Now we have the biggest bait in the box, a Blitz Blade. Bade blade. I do think this could probably get on a good bass bite, hopefully. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, that'll probably be the last lure I tie on. Then we have some Whipper Ultimate Micro Lures. Looks like a little pink jig head, which uh, comes pre-rigged with some little chartreuse soft plastic. So that'll definitely get bit by some panfish. And then last but not least, I already cracked this one open. We have the Widowmaker Lures. Nice little metallic pink tungsten jig size 14 so that's going to be perfect if you want oh my gosh <laughs> nick just caught a bluegill right there <laughs> that's a nice size little guy right there does that look good to you fish that little jig right there but yeah i already caught some fish on these widowmaker lures so i'm definitely going to be using these first <laughs> that scared me as you can see we're starting out with that little pink metallic jig we got to tip that with a little waxy right there definitely going to get bit probably by a panfish before anything on first fish of the day let's go nice pretty gill on the widowmaker lure there's a ton down there right now there we go keep moving holes Yes. There we go. Yeah. It's not average of what I've been catching for large mouth. Is it? Yeah. That's for sure. Good. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Would you look at that, folks? Nick gifted me with a good old bush light. Or should I say bush latte? Can never go wrong with a ice cold, refreshing beer out on the ice. Perfect, that's just what I needed. So I actually have that little Vexen jig and wrap on right now, that Crystal Reaper. 
because Nick's been having luck with his jigging wrap, so hopefully I can get a bass. The thing I love most about these jigging wraps is how fast they shoot down to the bottom. Because when you drop the jigging wrap down, the tip goes down, it has those little back tails on it, and it just shoots it straight down like a rocket. And it's so nice not having to sit there and wait for your little jig to just slowly fall down. Oh, he left. You're kidding. I had a fish on it. He bit it twice. Oh my God, that's so frustrating. That right there was definitely a bass. On. Oh no. I lost it. Gosh. I was. Oh man. We're moving ponds here. Nick's getting the hut or the sled already. I'm gonna start popping out some holes. This is a smaller body of water over here, so it might be easier for us to. Get on some fish. Just pop through all the holes that were already drilled. Might as well. On. You're kidding. <laughs> A little kitty. What the heck? Of course, it's the smallest catfish ever. I just threw that metallic jig back on and that's what I pulled through. He's croaking at me. Woo! There we go. Finally another fish. Boom. There's another fish. Is that another kitty cat? You're kidding. Another kitty. I thought this spot was the cat place. Yeah. Alright. There he goes. Yeah, you can tell right away when it's not a bluegill. Yeah. Another one. <laughs> They're all identical. I might be catching the same fish every time. Are they bullheads or are they actually kitties? No, they're channels. He's gonna go back to the hole. Without getting me poked. There he goes. Got him. Yep, it was a gill. <laughs> that is the smallest one I've ever seen. Yeah, that is a tank right there that's video worthy it was up at like four feet yeah that's what it is in go back to your home all right what's going on everybody we are all done fishing it's a couple days later again i'm always forgetting to uh film my outros i just leave go home get comfortable but i hope you guys enjoy the video we don't have much ice left and I'm super, super excited for open water fishing. And I'm super grateful for this opportunity MTB's giving me. Um, I really still don't feel like it's even real, but um, it's a super awesome door that's open for me. Again, if you guys want to use my code, it's WESTO15. I will link my link down below in the description. And I believe if you go to that link, it will actually put my code in for you. Um, but I really appreciate all of you guys and your support. And please leave a comment down below. I love reading your guys' comments. I love interacting with you guys. So I will see you guys on the next West Angling video. There's actually one coming up in the next few days on Monday, I believe. And it is the championship round of the YouTube fishing tournament against my man, Tommy or McGrath fishing. So you guys are definitely going to want to check his video out as well. I will see you guys on the next West Angling video. Peace out y'all. Yeah.